Mama, we got to play hide and seek in the closet at school today. My three-year-old burbled out excitedly as I put the first bite of the chicken we were eating for dinner that night into my mouth. I forced my cheeks to smile hard, but I couldn't manage to fake it as far as my eyes. I tried to swallow, but my throat was suddenly too small. My husband jumped to my rescue. You did? How cool, did you have a special snack too? Yes, we were really quiet and we got cheesy crackers. Awesome, buddy. We had talked about it at parents' night, how the kids would now be doing safety drills right along with the fire drills and tornado drills I grew up with. We're keeping it really light and fun, his teacher assured us with a calm smile. We want it to be just another game we play sometimes. She's a wonderful woman, his teacher. She's kind but firm. She's precise but patient. She's silly when the situation calls for it, but she's really strong when that's called for too. And above all, she is so incredibly enthusiastic about her responsibility to help her kids learn to love learning. Our whole family loves her, and I couldn't have dreamed up a better preschool teacher if I tried. But even so, as she told us about the drills, I couldn't keep my mind from shooting ahead to assess what the real situation they were playing at would look like. A man stalks the halls like in a video game. The warm smell of banana bread fills the air as he passes cubbies of miniature coats and rain boots in the hall. He enters a classroom. The finger paint and toy cars and class pets are left all askew. And the kids are there, trapped in the dark, eating cheesy crackers, playing their sweet game of hide and seek. One child laughs too loudly, catches the man's attention, the door opens. Not that bullets care very much, but my son's perfect teacher is also adorably thin and pretty. While there's not a doubt in my mind that she would shield her students with her own body, the reality is that wouldn't be enough. A round would slip through her like she was made of sunlight, ripping and tearing through to whatever happened to me on the other side. Those tiny bodies laying so unnaturally still, those tiny voices that asked a million questions a day, silenced, those tiny brains that were just barely learning to love learning, those babies, my baby, dying and scared and without me there to pat his back or sing to him. I know that the chances that they'll ever need to do more than practice these drills are infinitely small. And I know that it's better that they practice than be caught unprepared if those odds don't work out. But still, I'm having a hell of a time keeping it light. It feels cowardly that I can't manage to engage my son briefly and then move him on to another topic, that I just freeze up. If his teacher can do it, I should be able to. For God's sake, she's the one hiding in the closet with him. But I just can't wrap my head around living in a world where being a good mother involves holding on to a real, genuine smile as your toddler tells you about practicing for an armed attack at his preschool, where it means sending him off every day to a good teacher defined as someone willing to jump in front of an actual non-metaphorical bullet for him. So ridiculous, it has to be a game, right? 